Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Sports About Boundaries. Major League Baseball, American League, National League Series, both win seven games. Last night, the Diamondbacks beat the Phillies 4-2. to two. The Diamondbacks took two games at Philadelphia's home field, and the Phillies, the great hitting team that they are, only scored three runs in two games. I mean, this is nuts. It's like the Rangers beat the Astros all four games in Houston. Crazy. Brandon Fott, this is kind of going viral, was seen reading the Bible before he went out and pitched. Every pitcher in America is going to start doing that, Josh Wentz. Chris Mad Dog Rousseau says he will retire if Arizona Diamondbacks make the World Series. All right, Mad Dog. You know he's not going to. That's what he said. Dusty Baker is going to retire as the Houston Astros manager. He wants to stay in the game and do something else. Mattress Mac, the Houston area businessman who gambles and wins a lot on the Astros, based on his bets, they think he's going to lose $7 million bucks on the Astros going down. He didn't look very happy watching the game. NBA began last night, opening night. Denver, the returning reigning champs, whooped up on the Lakers 119 to 107, and the Suns beat the Warriors 108 to 104. The four best teams in the West going at it. The Nuggets also got their rings last night, and they raised the banner to the rafters. In NHL games, Rangers three, Flames one, Kings three, Coyotes one, Ducks three, Blue Jackets two in overtime. The game was delayed because of a power outage. Bruins three, Blackhawks zero, Jets four, Blues two, Golden Knights three, Flyers two. It's official. Jake Paul and Nate Diaz aren't going to box. They're going to fight a UFC fight. Go Nate. River City Mortgage got together with some other investors. This is the head of River City Mortgage. And they created a Southern Indiana FC, which is a minor league park or minor league team to the Premier League. The Eagles have traded for Kevin Byard for a safety. He's an all-pro safety, and they got a lot of injuries. Marvin Jones, formerly the Cincinnati Bengals, now with the Detroit Lions, is stepping away for some family issues. UFC's made it official. Bud Light. Josh Wentz, can you imagine the money Anheuser-Busch is forking out to these type of, and these type of deals to try to get Bud Light back? It's costing them a fortune. This is wild. USC, Lincoln Riley, who was at Oklahoma, is out sick. Well, Cliff Kingsbury, who most recently coached the Arizona Cardinals, was signed on as the offensive coordinator. So Lincoln is out. Kingsbury is in. By the way, with that kind of staff, wow. The offense, but guess what? Their quarterback, thought to be a Heisman Trophy Can't beat a good team. Chris Olave, I tell you right now, I like this guy. Ohio State player, he gets arrested for DUI in New Orleans. He goes, man, don't you know I'm a New Orleans Saint? Now, I want to say something. Some people would say that's big timing. You know what? I don't blame the guy. When Cincinnati Bengals would get arrested for DUI up here, now this might make some of you guys' head explode, but I don't care. I'm being honest about it. I always thought to myself, man, if I was a cop and I pulled over a bangle or a red, I wouldn't arrest them and embarrass them. I'd say, come on. I would give them special treatment. I mean, if you are one of the stars on your city team, why not give them special treatment? But they don't do it. All right, safety Jackson of the Denver Broncos. The NFL has reduced his four-game suspension to two. Dion on stealing signs, he says, you still got to stop them. And Jerry Jones says he would stretch to help his team right now. Wow. Dallas Cowboys looking to do some trading. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.